guys assalamualaikum welcome back to today's video and welcome back to my another makeup tutorial so this time it's all about the makeup that I did before so I did ask you guys in my Instagram story whether you want to see the tutorial of this look or not so you guys answer yes I mean a lot of you guys answer yes as you wish this is the tutorial for you guys and hopefully you guys can learn something in this video okay let's just get start off with this tutorial as you can see my new background right here and also this this white shawl that I've been not wearing it for the longest time I remember last time I worn this shawl it was a year ago when I do bridal makeup tutorial I think that was the time I did the video with this white shawl yeah I actually bought this for my wedding day if it's not wedding day I would not buy any of white shawl but I've seen a lot of my friend wore this kind of white color shawl white color scarf I'm actually not really confident in pulling off something that really white on me hopefully I look presentable in this video so let's just get start off with this tutorial first of all I'm gonna start off with my moisturizer it's my all-time favorite moisturizer it's from true island honeybee venom multi solution cream and you guys have seen that I use this a lot in my previous tutorial as well it's good for hydration basically the moisturizer is really important guys you cannot skip it whether you have dry skin or normal skin or oily skin you can't skip moisturizer every day right now i'm gonna be moving on with baby skin pore eraser primer from maybelline Before I filming this video, I was kind of hesitant to use this background actually because yeah, I used to have white background at the back. This is my second time actually. The first time I used this background, it was for my IG content. But for YouTube content, this is the first time. Alright, I'm going to be concealing my imperfections on my face right now. This is Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. It's in the shade medium. I love this concealer. Yeah, I was planning to try out more concealer from drugstore. I'm sure there are lots of good concealers there. So, let's just see in my upcoming videos maybe I like to try more concealers or foundation or you guys want to see more lip products review because yeah there are lots of lip products coming in I'm not sure how you guys doing whether you guys like to go for lip products at this current situation I mean like we are wearing our mask and everything whether you wear something in matte finish like total matte finish of lipstick or lip cream it somehow stain on your mask because we are human being we sweating throughout the day yeah, I'm, I'm really surprised if someone can pull off the look under the mask without having it transferred to the face mask yeah, for me it's like something magical and unreal concealing is done now I'm gonna put on my foundation the foundation that I'm gonna be using is this two foundation one is from drugstore and one is local brand these two are my favorite I love love to mix these two foundation honestly just drop a little bit amount of Aina foundation because it's quite dark on me and this is what I like to do sometimes mixing foundation hopefully it's not stain on my scarf if it does it would look obvious then products right now first of all first of all first of all before i draw my eyebrows i'm just gonna brush up this eyebrow with hyper curl volume express mascara yeah mascara is actually for eyelashes but i found that this is also good for eyebrows this is in a brown shade it's actually quite hard to use this for the first time now I get used to this so yeah, it's not a big problem to me at all now I'm using this brow powder from Korea cosmetics makeup kit I'm using this brow powder from Korea brow me kit and just draw the lines down here 
and then I'm taking this soft one uh, mesmerized brows in the shade mocha and draw the line up here and also filling up this eyebrows hair this is so natural I'm loving this eyebrow pencil Next part is concealing process. I'm just going to cover up this hair underneath this line to make it more neat. Alright, eyebrows is done and I've already set my face with loose powder. Now I'm just going to move on with shading powder. This is from Fenty Beauty. As usual, I'm just going to do this on my nose. Uh, this is basically what I like to do. I'm not going to go for cheekbones shading. I don't know, I look kind of weird if I do that. So let's just focus on this one. It is not necessary to use exactly the same product that I use in this video. You can also use this with your own makeups that you have. So I'm just giving the ideas for you guys to do the kind of makeup look that I want to do in this video. So it really depends on you guys. This color is not too intense so I'm just gonna build up more colors on my nose right here. Okay, that's enough for now. Okay, now it's time to do my eyeshadows. So I'm gonna be using this Timeless palette from Sofwana Cosmetics. I'm gonna mix these two colors right here for my eye crease and also on my lower lash line. Of course, I'm using the brush from this palette. So. I'm loving the brush, I'm loving this palette. They're just wow, they're just so beautiful. So this eye makeup look is the makeup that I do when I'm filming the best and worst eyeshadow palette. You can check out that video. This color is kind of like coral, a mix of coral and pink color. So nice on the skin for light skin tone. It looks so nice. Just gonna zoom in a little bit so you guys can see clearly. It's quite sad actually when the brand discontinued this palette because this is so good. Hopefully they will come up with new one. Okay, this is actually the color that I apply on my eyelids so now I'm gonna be taking this color to mix on that eye crease it doesn't make any huge differences here but I'm loving the transition colors on that this is actually the eye makeup look that you can do to make your eyes appear bigger so when I put on my lashes later on you will see the differences before and after so that's basically how it goes I'm just gonna apply on my other eye just take your time to blend the eyeshadow on your eyes now that both sides looks kind of similar and I look super orangey right now these are exactly the colors that I use for that makeup look so you guys can trust me I'm gonna be proceed with another color so this is the last shade that I use for my eye makeup what I do is just apply that on the center of my eyelids basically Final touch for my eyes, I'm using this shade from another palette of Sofona Cosmetics. So this one is called The More. The first one that I'm using is called A Lot. Just top this color on this tear ducts. Now I'm gonna put on my lashes with the camera off and I'll be right back with you guys. Alright guys, I'm back. So I just did apply my false lashes but it's kind of a little bit tacky right now but I'm just gonna wait it for a little bit more but while I'm doing that I'm just gonna proceed with another steps I'm just gonna move on with my blush so this is Kozuma rosy pink blush palette so just apply that on my cheeks This blush color looks so perfect with this eye makeup look. It brings a kind of youthful makeup look with this blush on. I'm loving this blush so so much. I'm just gonna fill in my tight line with this Hyper Sharp Power Black Liner from Maybelline. Next step is highlight. So I'm taking back this eyeshadow palette from Sofwana Cosmetics and I'm using the lightest shade right here as my highlighter. Just pick any brush and run this color on cheekbones. Okay, it's almost 
done and that's good I'm just gonna apply a little bit more amount of this shading powder from Fenty Beauty wow 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 yeah I never thought that this whole look will look nice with this shawl this is like mostly Malaysian brands that I use I'm slowly trying to love more Malaysian brands because yeah the quality is kind of promising from time to time yeah all we have to do is just try it on for lip product i'm using this lip gloss from bibir this is actually from site fazel beauty and i'm loving this lip gloss this is like so lightweight and it gives that really really good finishing on the lips too so that's how it looks like and then i'm gonna top with the lip matte color from bibir as well so this is in the shade tangelo tangelo or tangelo that was it the whole makeup look in this tutorial so are you guys loving this tutorial tell me if you love this So that's it, the whole look of my makeup today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel because I do lots of informative makeup videos and I'm sure you guys don't want to miss it. And please do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. And I really hope you guys love this makeup as much as I do because I'm trying to do the same, like exactly the same, just like I did before. So yeah, this is for you guys. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.